I finally have an ASIC that I've been after for a very long time. Today we're going to be talking about it. A uh, big thanks for, to Matt Electron for sending this over. I uh, definitely appreciate it. He had this. I've been wanting this for a really long time. And uh, he basically uh, sold it to me. He certainly didn't have to. He did. It is a pretty sought after ASIC, uh, especially today. And if you're not familiar with this, this is the Bikel G28. Uh, it's one of Bikel's bigger ASICs. And truth be told, it's really the cream of the crop from 2018. Bikel released a bunch of miners back in 2017, 2018. And this is one of them. And it has continued to be profitable through this entire bear market. And it's been profitable since 2018 when it was released, which is crazy to think uh, today, even kind of sitting where it is, it's more profitable than like a Jazzminer X4Q. So really happy to have it. Thanks my Electron for sending it over. Really excited to get into this. Thanks for the stickers. Uh, thanks for the keychain. Definitely cool. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't fit this key. Thanks for the stickers. Appreciate it. We got Yeti. We got Rondi. We got 56. We got Matt Electron, of course. And let's take a look at the ASIC. As I mentioned, it is the Bicol G28. Now, the G28 and the X are both still profitable. Uh, the X was released in 2017. The G28 was released in 2018. And as you can see, it is a dual fan unit. And if we spin it around to the back, it might be a little bit hard to see, but there you see all of the hash boards. And so we've got uh, two PCIe power, six pin power for each hash board. And we've got, uh, what, seven hash boards in here. And then we've got the controller at the bottom as well. And it does have the back plate. It is bent a little bit, but most of these that you find don't have this back plate on at all. Uh, typically, they are removed. So it is nice to see that on there. And these are not cheap. Uh, for a ASIC in, that was made in 2018, uh, they don't pop up very often. And the current, there's only really one on eBay right now. And the seller's asking $1,800 for it. Um, uh, BKX, which is essentially like one of these hash boards, maybe two hash boards, um, that equivalent. Those are selling, I saw an auction go the other day for over $500. So they're selling super high. Um, and so I was extremely excited to get this from him. And so today let's go ahead and fire it up and we'll jump over to the dashboard, check it out. We'll jump over to what to mine, check out some prices. And, uh, but first let's turn this on. And in addition to sending me the ASIC, he also sent me all the power cables and he also sent me a parallel minor breakout board to run it. So thank you very much for that. We're going to go ahead and get this plugged in, fire it up. Let's see what the noise level is like. I believe these were around uh, 70 decibel, maybe a little bit quieter, uh, very low power. And so these really shouldn't be heating up too much. All right, we've got all of our power connections in. We've got our Ethernet in. And let's go ahead and fire it up. All right, fans have settled in. Uh, pretty good. It's actually... Uh, around the noise of a G1 Mini, so not too bad. Uh, nice. So let's go ahead and hop over to the computer and try to see if we can access the dashboard, configure uh, a mining pool, and go from there. We're back over at the computer, and I went to my router. I found the IP address of the device, and we went ahead and went over to it. So here we can see we're at the login screen. Uh, the default password for Bicol's is just the password Bicol. Let's go ahead and do that. 
Hit go. And there we can see, okay, miners up, configurations loaded. Let's go ahead and close that. We can see all seven of our hash boards. Uh, they're already configured to Gretzel, which is the currently the most profitable coin. If we hop on over to mining pool stats, and we can take a look at Gertz. So actually, before we do that, let's hop on over to ASIC Miner Value. And what you can see is currently this device. Um, now, ASIC Miner Value isn't necessarily always accurate, but currently it's making $2.24 a day according to this. Now, this is with my power rate, which is $0.05. Cents. So, two seven, so it's actually only going to cost me $0.54 cents a day to run this ASIC. And that is because on Grotzel, it only uses 450 watts. So we get we should be getting around 28 giga hash, 450 watts for 220 for a day. The other nice thing about this ASIC is, so it mines all these algos. It can do dash. It was one of the earlier dash miners. We can do X11, can do quark qubit, uh, Myriad's version of Grotzel, NIST 5. Uh, which, if you were mining back in 2018, uh, NIST5 was one of the Elgos that you could mine on a lot of NVIDIA cards. Uh, Skeen, X11 Ghost, and Grotzel Base Algo. And so, currently, Grotzel is the most profitable. Um, it's nice to see Qubit coming back. Uh, but if you notice here, this is 850 watts for essentially that same hash rate. So we're going to be sticking with Gertzel today. So if we hop on over to Mining Pool Stats, we can see our options. Uh, mining Dutch. I actually do like Mining Dutch. Uh, I have some miners pointed there right now. Uh, one of the nice things about Mining Dutch is you can pretty much auto exchange for any coin you want that they support, which is a very large amount. Mining Pool Hub used to be my go-to. However, they turned off... Uh, after the Ethereum merge, they turned off their auto exchanging, which was the whole kind of purpose of using Mining Pool Hub. So, really not interested in using them. But we also have Zerg Pool here, and I currently have my phone farm on Zerg Pool uh, auto exchanging to Bitcoin. So I might actually put this on Zerg Pool. Before we do that, let's hop on over to Coin Market Cap. And let's take a look at Gertzel. It's currently ranked 489. It's pretty far down on the list. However, it has been out for quite a while. And if we take a look at the all-time chart, it actually looks pretty good, right? So in 2018, obviously that massive run-up uh, December of 2017 and the January of 2018. And then it actually did rebound pretty good in April and then we got obviously the run-up uh, in 2021 where you know it got to almost that 2018 all-time high which is at rather impressive given the number of coins that came out within this time span and then it obviously it dropped uh, but then it picked back up in September and it's dropped a little bit, but it's picking back up as well as with the rest of the market. So, as I mentioned earlier, this has been the most profitable coin throughout uh, the bear market for this miner. And just in general, this miner has been pretty good. So, if we scroll down the list here. Here you're going to see the Bico, uh G28 which is above the Q, uh, the X4QZ and just below the full X4Q. And so it is kind of slotted in there. Um, it is above the LT Lite, uh, but a little bit below the LT5. So it gives you a general idea of kind of where it's fitting in with the market. Uh, pretty much the same profitability as the uh, what's minor M31S. And one of the things you're going to notice here is, like the LT Lite came out in 2022. This miner came out in 2018. And it has remained profitable throughout. So let's go ahead and hop on over to Zergpool. And we're going to set this up. 
uh, over there. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's take a look at the markets for it. Um, some places that you'll be able to uh, trade this coin. Uh, Coinex would probably be my go-to. Um, Bitrix is up there as well. Uh, unfortunately, Coinex uh, has banned US, so if you are going to use Coinex, you need to probably do it either through a VPS or a VPN. Uh, BTX Pro is Mining Pool Hubs Exchange, and they banned the US about a year ago. So that one's kind of out as well. And this is why Zerg Pool and Mining Dutch have a lot of the hash rate. So let's go ahead and do Zerg Pool real quick. So we want Grotel. We're going to get paid out in BTC. And this is what we need. And we're going to go ahead and pop our, our pool information here. And one of the cool things that I like that Michael has always done with their Maldi Algo A6 is they allow you to specify a backup pool, which would typically be your failover pools, but you can actually specify a different Algo. So if you're familiar with like the Gold Shell A6, Bitmain A6, a lot of them that support multiple Algos, you actually have to switch the Algo in a different setting. And so your pool only applies, your pool selection only applies to that Algo. Where with this, if the primary pool for like Grotel was down, you could actually have your second pool fell over to something like Qubit, which is really cool. And we're actually going to do that here. So we're going to grab the Qubit endpoint from Zerg pool as well. We're going to go ahead and put that in, and I'm going to go ahead and grab my BTC address, plug that in, and uh, let's see if it starts hashing. And right, we've got our pull information in. We just saved it, and now the miner should be rebooting, and it is hashing away. We can see we're getting just over 4 giga hash on each board, which is good to see. And uh, this is for the past five seconds. Obviously, it's still going to be ramping up. But we are looking at approximately 28.4 giga hash. And it is pulling right around 390 to 400 watts at the wall. So let's go ahead and hop over to the pool. Let's see if it's started registering it yet. And here we can see we're getting shares. And we'll just have to wait some time for that effective hash rate to ramp up. And it looks like current time to fine is around an hour per block on the pool itself. So at this point, we're good. It's up running. It is hashing. And everything is good. And we can see our temps are super low right now. And this is nice to see. It's been hashing for a couple minutes now. Uh, we've got 12 accepted shares, and it is nice to see the shares uh, per hash board that are being accepted. We can see all the hash boards are at 300 megahertz, and so far we only have one hash board that hasn't had any shares accepted yet. And it just got an accepted share, so all of our hash boards are working. And if we hop back over to the pool, refresh... It's still ramping up, but we're at 17 giga hash. So perfect. Super excited to have this. Uh, definitely appreciate Matt Electron selling this to me. Super excited. I can't believe I finally have a G28. Uh, it's been a really long time. I've been wanting one of these since it first launched in 2018. And, you know, back then, definitely couldn't afford it. Uh, you know, I was... At the height of the 27 bull market, I was probably mining with only five or six GPUs at that time. Uh, very small uh, setup, and uh, I wasn't in the position to acquire any ASICs. 
And so I've been fortunate enough to get to that position now. And I am looking at a few lower power, low powered ASICs. But this was definitely one of the ones that I was super excited to get. I'm still looking for a BKX at a fair market price. Uh, I think they're still a little bit overpriced uh, for, you know, what the X10s are. And so I'll keep an eye out for that. And I might eventually add one of those to go along with this G28. Uh, 